हरे कृष्णा लर्निंग इज ड्रिवन बाय पर्पजफुलनेसनेस लॅमेंटिंग बाय पॉइंटलेसनेस ऑफन वेन वी लुक बॅक ॲट द पास्ट वी ऑल नीड टू लर्न फ्रॉम द पास्ट वी मेड सम मिस्टेक्स अँड वी हॅव टू अवॉइड रिपीटिंग दोज मिस्टेक्स अँड फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ अवॉइडिंग द रेपिटेशन ऑफ दोज मिस्टेक्स वी नीड टू लर्न फ्रॉम वी हॅव टू लर्न ओके दिस इज वॉट आय डिड दिस इज वॉट आय शुड नॉट हॅव डन दिस इज वॉट आय थॉट दिस इज हाऊ माय थिंकिंग वॉज रॉंग नो लर्निंग इज गुड लर्निंग फ्रॉम द पास्ट इज गुड बट समटाइम लर्निंग फ्रॉम द पास्ट इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय लिव्हिंग इन द पास्ट अँड नॉट जस्ट लिव्हिंग इन अ जॉयफुल सेन्स बट इन लिव्हिंग इन अ मॉनफुल सेन्स वेर वी आर सिम्पली लॅमेंटिंग अबाउट द पास्ट रिहॅशिंग वॉट हॅज हॅपन अँड कंडेमिंग अदर्स ऑर कंडेमिंग आवर सेल्स and overall drowning ourselves in negativity so lamenting means oh why did that happen why did they do like that why did he or she speak like that why did i do like that whichever way it might be overall lamenting ends in disempowering us lamenting ends in making us um, wasting our time wasting our en- mental energy and disheartening us so lamenting is definitely undesirable uh, so <clears throat> oh, so what happens is that uh, uh, we when we are lamenting and learning we are uh, lear- what is the essential difference between lamenting about the past and learning from the past it is uh, the essential difference is, is who is in control now when the mind is in control then the mind just takes us on its own stormy waves of thoughts taking us here taking us there making us go here and there and just making us lose perspective lose control and we are just not able to do anything in that way but if we focus so this way with the if we are not in the mind is not in control if we are in control if we are calm we are composed and then we calmly take our mind behind if we are not in the mode of ignorance but we are in the mode of goodness then we can learn from the past so there when there is purposefulness okay let me analyze this happened this happened what can i learn from this then when there is pur- when we are purposefully driven then we can learn from the past but when we are overall in a mental stupor feeling that everything is pointless nothing works out right for me and in that process of Uh, there is no point in the thinking we just rehashing what happened again and again that sort of pointless thinking is definitely uh, in the mode of ignorance and that simply makes us more and more uh, more and more negative krishna talks about such thinking as being in the mode of ignorance ya swapnam bhayam shokam vishadam madame evach navi munjati durmedha druti sapartha tamasi so one who a uh, one who is vishadi this is krishna talking about who are worker in the mode of ignorance then he also says vishadi dirgha sutri cha vishadi one who is always doing lamentation oh why did this happen why did that happen one who is habitually mournful such a person krishna is talks about as a person who is in the mode of ignorance a worker in the mode of ignorance so we by keeping our sense of purposefulness strong when we Uh, learn from study scripture practice meditation uh, cultivate a mood of devotion then we have a strong sense of purposefulness in our life and with that sense of purposefulness when we work then we can actually work constructively for moving towards krishna we can work constructively towards attaining sustainable spiritual advancement and we can work constructively also for learning from our past so by cultivating purposefulness through our spiritual practices thereby calming and focusing our mind then when we look at the past we can learn from the past thank you hare